In this video, I'm explaining the life path 358 and what the life path 358 means in numerology and especially what does it mean for you being a life path 358? What is your potential here on earth? What are your challenges? What do you need to move through to finally step into your potential and that you feel you're connected? with your individual life purpose. Let's dive into your life path, life path 358. Write me in the comments if you're a life path 358. The eight in numerology stands for finding influence through authority, stepping into your own power, stepping into your sense of authority not misusing your authority and using your influence for the highest good and sharing the abundance you create with others this is the essence this is your root number but going further in this video about what does a 35 mean and when you're asking yourself how do i find out if i'm a 35 8 if i'm a 44 8 if I am a 26 8 go to my video how to calculate your life path number there you will find clarity and you will know or drop me your birthday in the comments down below the number five has a crucial importance to understand for the life on the the life path 35 8 with the number five you are here to find freedom through discipline the number five is a freedom seeker the number five wants to be free ultimately free and therefore the number five needs to realize and to learn that discipline routine structure are actually creating way more freedom than you think the five naturally has resistance against discipline and against routines with the number three in your life path, you are here to find expression through sensitivity. The number three is a number of expression. Expression with your words, with your body language, with your actions, with your non-actions, with your thoughts. And the number three is a highly sensitive number. So find the way how to express yourself creatively with using your vulnerable side your sensitive side as a life path 35 8 you are here to work through issues of emotional honesty becoming an independent individual stepping into your power manifesting abundance acknowledging your authority and you carry around you as a 35-8 a natural sense of authority and this is for you to realize and to use it for you and for the highest good of the people around you for you on your path it's working on issues of freedom achieved through discipline and through depth of experience you are a life path number that wants to experience life to the fullest to step into your personal power the number eight is a power player it's a number associated with money business personal power control so therefore on your life path you inherit challenges to step deeper into your full potential and this challenging can be as a life path 35 8 that you feel a push and pull and this push and pull is between the both polarities the one pol polarity is that you have this drive for wealth money and power the other side that pulls you is that you want to dive deep into the spiritual world and this push and pull between these both polarities which are very very much different creates an inner conflict and it's on you to discover how you can resolve this conflict life past 35 8 and the inner conflict frames the life of the life path 35 8 and it manifests 
passive tendencies. It manifests in a way that you act subdues, that you are passive, that you are eventually unnoticeable. When you have these feelings and there is something that you need to work on, it can on the other side show as well more as aggressive tendencies, unraged, uncontrolled anger. Um, the eight can show very pushy, can be flamboyant or ruthless. So it can show in these both polarities when you're in this push-pull situation that one side is driving you towards wealth, money, power, and the other side is driving you towards your spiritual side. And neither one of these sides is to neglect. It's finding that balance, getting into that sweet spot in the middle as a life path 35-8. One challenge is to accept that there is one part in you that has aggressive and as well passive identity parts and to find balance and to find your own authentic true expression. Self-expression is a topic of the number three inherit in your life path as a 35-8. Your capacity and your genius as a life path 35-8 is that you inherit this natural authority that you are a leader and that you are good in taking on responsibility and lead people and manage people and even teams. You have unconscious fear of your own power and this is why you inhibit yourself often. So it's on you to uh, discover your own power and there can be this big fear around your own power, showing yourself, expressing yourself in that powerful being you are and to really take it on and not hide yourself. As a 35-8, lived in the positive, you have the sense of influence and you have that sense of inner abundance within you. Uh, you are highly disciplined and focused being. Many blessings have already occurred in your life when you are lived in the positive. You receive blessings over blessings in your daily life. When you are in the positive life, you share your abundance generously and wisely through your higher intelligence and through your expressive abilities. Others view you as a powerful leader due to your powerful mind and your ability to see the bigger picture. You are emotionally open and you show yourself vulnerable. You are not scared of your emotions. And you know as well when it's time to stand your ground and when it's time to let go. You are open in relationships and you're mutually supportive. When you are imbalanced in your expression as a 35-8, you are very dramatic, you're even ostentatious or flamboyant. When you're not balanced as a 35-8 and this is nothing bad, it just shows you that you need to deepen the work on these issues, then you have this underlying ruthless drive for success. And don't use it as, ex as an excuse not to do go for that drive for success. It's super important to step into your power. But when it becomes ruthless, this is a sign for you that it is not healthy for you and your surrounding. That can lead as well to overworking yourself or even scattering yourself and trying too much. Discipline is a form of focus, aligns and balances scattered tendencies and amplifies their effectiveness. So when you see yourself scattered, Life Path 35A, work on discipline. When you see yourself wanting to control others and manipulating others that only favorizes yourself, then it's time for you to do the inner work. Thank you for being here. That was my video about the Life Path 35.8. Let me know in the comments if you are 35.8, connect with me. If you are uncertain which 8 you are, 
send me your birthday in the comments and yeah, sending for shining your light and your power into the world.